Hey guys, the May Power BI service update introduced passing multiple URL parameter filters to a Power BI report. Want to see how? Stay tuned. Hey guys, what's up? Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, we're going to revisit something that may be old school for some and new school for others, right? And so back, I don't know how long ago Adam did this video, but he talked about passing URL parameter filters to a report. And at the time that it was released, you only can pass one. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to pass many, many parameters, maybe up to five um, different parameter filters to a Power BI report. Now, all of the restrictions and everything else still applies. And you can go read the documentation or go watch Adam's video and he goes through all that. I'm not doing all that stuff. I'm not talking about it. If you want to know more about it, go back then, right? Rewind time and go watch his video. In this video, we're just focusing on how do you pass multiple parameters as a quick, as a quick revisit. Okay. Just like to get you up to speed to level set. I'm going to show you how to pass one and then I'll show you how to pass multiple ones. All right. So let's get into this. Let's head over to my desktop. All right. So does everyone remember the syntax? Okay. If you don't remember the syntax, take a look at my screen. I'm using my favorite text editor notepad. I know you guys love notepad as much as I do. Um, and so you got to get the report. So here's my report. You can see my report and then get the URL for the report. And then right after you get that, you specify question mark filter equals you must specify the table name slash column name. Okay, remember all the requirements, no spaces and stuff like that. Then you specify equal, and then you must wrap the value that you wanna pass as a filter in single ticks. Tick one, tick two, one at the beginning, one at the end, all right? So go ahead and grab that. Once you have it all laid out the way you want it, paste it in, run it, and what you're gonna see on my report, and I did this just for to, so you can see how it works, once my report renders, what you'll see is that my filter, my slicer, my on-screen filter, that's what I like to call my slicers, is limited to female. But if you open up my filter section, you can see it says gender equals F, okay? But what if I wanted to set multiple report level filters? What if I want to set parent, parent marital status and ethnicity and what a uh, staff name? What if I want to set? all these different filters in, a, in my URL. Well, it's pretty easy. Um, the way you would modify this up, go back to my favorite text editor here. All you would need to do at this point is you can see how I have my first one, question mark, filter equals, then all you need to do is start adding and the next one and the next one using the exact same format, okay? So and is the key here. So I add and and then I wanna filter the student table on parent marital status. God, sometimes I struggle with pronouncing words. Parent marital status, okay? Equals EQ, single, and then again, and student, grade, on and on and so forth. I got up to about five. I don't know exactly how many um, you can pass in the URL. I guess there's, you know, the biggest thing is remembering that the URL link, there's some restrictions there, all right? But let's go ahead and copy this. Paste it in there. And when my report renders, it's gonna be like magic. All of them, all of my filters, all of my slices will be filtered that way. You can see my filter, all my filters are set appropriately and it's all done, right? If you have any questions or comments about what I did in this video, post it in the comments below, okay? Um, I think this is a pretty neat feature. Remember, the May Power BI service update. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Um, if you have any questions, like I said before, comments, post it below. If this is your first time visiting the channel, um, please be sure to subscribe. And if you like my video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. From Adam and Patrick, a guy in the cube. See you guys next time.